All right. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's see where we're about to see. Let's see where we're going about to uh, take a gander at what this Capcom have in store for us. All right, but there might be something like Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter, Mega Man, Resident Evil, but uh, we'll see. It might surprise us. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase. Where All right, we here we go. Exciting new updates on our upcoming games. We have some surprises in store, and hope you enjoy the show. So let's go. All right. Let's begin. Got my popcorn rig. <laughs> oh, Monster Hunter. Oh yeah, I forgot about Monster Hunter. Dude. Hello, everyone. Oh, here we go. Tsujimoto, producer of the Monster Hunter series. Thank you for tuning in to today's Capcom Showcase. We're excited to bring you the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, mm. which will finally be released at the end of this month. It's it's to kick this month? Off, oh, wow, okay, okay. Coming soon. Trailer to show I mean, like, almost there. Let's take a look. All right, let's go. World premiere, world premiere. Monster Hunter. Oh, shit. Get it, this. Come on. Let's go for a ride. I'll make sure we're good. All right, we're good. All right, all right. Off to a, a um, say a good average start. There we go. I'm on to ride the sunbreak at the end of the month. All right. Uh, Nintendo Switch and Steam. Huh. Okay, I do have Steam. First, let me introduce a returning locale. The jungle area that debuted in the second generation of Monster Hunter games is back in Sunbreak. You'll notice that the jungle's appearance changes over time. It's a nostalgic area that both veteran hunters and new players are sure to enjoy. And of course, mm, we've so. updated the jungle with new elements and endemic life specifically for its return in Sunbreak. Longtime fans can look forward to exploring the devastated ruins around the coastal area. From the Monster Hunter Frontier series comes Espinas. Espinas. Espinas means thorns in Spanish. As the name implies, thorny scales cover its body. Normally, Espinas enjoys a quiet life and sleeps peacefully, but when it senses danger nearby, it explodes into <laughs> My a God. Like, Even though it uh, Espinas was like Espinas sleeping, sleeping peacefully and, and people just started hacking it like, <laughs> It was like intentional danger. Like, um, uh, monster was sleeping peacefully and just started to hack it. 
and it, when it senses Gorgon danger, Gala start to attack. Is a creature with black <laughs> and sensitive wing membranes used to sense the presence of prey. As Gormagala's sensing ability increases, its two horns change form and it enters the frenzy state. While in a frenzy state, it gets so powerful that the ground beneath begins to break, and it uses its huge claws as an anchor during powerful attacks. In addition, the trailer also shows the Daimyo Hermitar, and the Pyrorachna Kadaki subspecies, which adds explosive elements, makes its fiery debut. There are still more monsters that have yet to be revealed, so stay tuned for more Sunbreak announcements in the future. Hmm. There's the latest one more information. thing I want to share with you all, so please watch the following video. Try out the demo. All right. Serious reason a jump jungle. Hunt Sunbird. Now in the basics of the train quest. Try out our super tough quest. Hmm. Event this was advanced. Alright. Available from June 14th. A free demo for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is coming to both Nintendo Switch and Steam. The demo will be available to download as shown. In the jungle locale introduced today, you'll be able to take on Astalos. The new Switch Astalos. skill swap system as well as new Silk Bind attacks will be all right, available all right, for play. Right. Okay. We'll have a few tutorial quests available for new players that will teach you the basic mechanics and moves. After mastering the basics, you'll be ready to take on other monsters in the demo to test your skills. For veteran hunters, an advanced quest will also be available where you can take on an extra challenging version of Sunbreak's flagship monster, Malzino. The demo supports multiplayer for up to four players, and there's no limit to the number of times you can attempt quests. Get an early... taste of sunbreak action with this free demo you can download it from the nintendo eShop and steam store page also we would like for you to keep two things in mind when purchasing monster hunter rise sunbreak so you will be able to enjoy all the added contents hmm. you can give us a free space okay Following Sunbreak's release, we plan to release a number of free title updates. Please enjoy this quick video preview of what's on the way. Free title updates coming in the future. All right, let's see what it has in store for us. Title update scheduled for August 2022 will add Lucent Nargakuga. Lucent Nargakuga. This monster will be a part of the first free title update to come to Sunbreak post launch. In addition to the Lucent Nargakuga, we're also adding a new area, the iconic Forlorn Arena. With future title updates, we plan on including additional monsters, variants, and more. Our title update release schedule is as follows. The second title update is planned for a fall 2022 release. The third title update will come in winter 2022. And there's more to come in 2023. Each title update will include additional monsters and other elements. We hope you'll check them out. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June 30th, 2022. Alright, so 17 days away. Digital pre-orders for Sunbreak are now available on both Nintendo Switch and Steam. 
pre-orders will also a special bonus palamute and palico layered armor so cute we're planning on keeping you updated with more information soon please visit the official website and follow monster hunter social channels for more info that wraps up our news for monster hunter rise sunbreak thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of the cat see him and um, he's I, th I thought it was like something wrong with my internet, but I think the light, their lives, the Capcom live stream is a little bit choppy. To the see them, the the guy, he was like in full like um no normal mode, not like so nothing, nothing was lagging. Coming soon. The next generation of Street Fighter is currently in development and has something fun for oh. everyone to enjoy. So at the beginning, uh, I think Summer Game Fest. Only Ryu, Luke, Jamie. Luke and Jamie. With breathtaking new visuals, unleash unprecedented battles with the all-new battle system. Street Fighter VI reimagines the fighting game experience with new modes that will Ooh. allow you to experience the Street Fighter. Yeah, I saw a video on uh, tw on I think on Twitter about well, uh, Chung Li's uh, fighting. She looked really hard, really good. This year. Like the way she was like throwing hands. Of the street oh, like, oh, I'm so like, unstoppable. Fighting collection will oh, here we go. Later this month. Fighting collection. Included is the first ever release of Red Earth outside of arcades. Hyper Street Fighter 2. Five Darkstalkers titles and more. Ten of the best fighting games from the arcade era are included in one package. Friday Night Slam Masters. Magic Sword, Black Tiger, Eco Fighters, and more, combined for a total of 32 arcade titles. In addition to a bundle that features all 32 titles, each title is available for individual purchase and features, with lots of quality of life options. All players will receive Sun Sun for free when downloading the base game. The bundle featuring all 32 titles is available for pre-order now. Get Display Frame Set 1 as a bonus for pre-ordering. To celebrate, get the Capcom Arcade Stadium title, Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. Free for a limited time. We hope you try out the Capcom Arcade Stadium as well. Next up is an update on Capcom's new team-based action game, Exoprimal. Hi everyone, I'm Takuro Hiraoka, director of Exoprimal. We have a new trailer to show today that includes lots of gameplay. I don't think it's, I don't think it's my internet it's being Let's choppy. I think just their Capcom live stream in general. Uh, in general. There seems a little bit choppy I'm on their end. Artificial intelligence, Leviathan. Your personnel data indicates you are a suitable specimen to join an ongoing experiment. Under my supervision, Ivius Corp conducts its most important research here. Welcome to Bikitoa Island. You have been selected for a live combat test. The first team to complete their assignment wins. My archives encompass exhaustive records of human history. These annals are riddled with errors and institutional bias. Your species is susceptible to mass delusion. Oh, that. Fascinating. Humans dread the other. You seek to evolve, yet you do not want to change. You tear down curtains, yet fear revelations. Even when what is revealed is of your own creation. Combat data is required to develop the exosuit. At Ibius, we're always reaching for better. Always. Humanity resists quantification, an interesting variable. Within your behavior lies the answer. What is variable shall become fixed. Humans, fight and die for me. Carnage module online. I call your attention to the unstoppable Raptor Horde. 
Calculating chance of employee retention. Chance calculated at 8.7%. You must fight harder than ever if you wish to survive. A more grueling combat experiment is called for. You will now witness a small fragment of the war game. You need to keep fighting until we can figure out how to destroy the body. Where's this one? It's a primal. The main twenty twenty three. We hope you enjoyed the trailer. Now, I will get into more detail about the game. Developed by Ivius Corporation, Leviathan is a next-gen AI that guides players throughout Exoprimal via voice navigation and augmented reality displays. Leviathan appears before players as a massive human-like figure or as a surveillance drone called a Watcher. The trailer shows Leviathan unleashing hordes of dinosaurs. Players will battle these dinosaurs after being forced into Leviathan's infinitely repeating war games. Huh. Why is Leviathan bringing dinosaurs Damn, look at them. The world? On like rats. Why is Leviathan repeating these war games. Holy Solve shit. The mystery by playing the main game. Holy shit, bro, look at them. Survival. Let me provide a brief Dino survival. Exo Primal is a team-based action game. In Dino Survival, two squads of 5 race to complete objectives. Teams must follow Leviathan's directives and complete the mission before their rivals to win. These directives will feature a dynamic mix of missions. In fact, we just saw some in the latest trailer. There's Dinosaur Cult, where teams must eliminate a specific dinosaur. In VTOL Defense, teams protect a grounded aircraft from dinosaur onslaughts. In Data Key Security, teams escort a valuable asset to its destination. Destroy targets in Omega Charge with the powerful Omega Hammer. In Energy Taker, teams compete to collect the most energy. You also saw a glimpse of a strange and terrifying creature known as a Neo Tyrannosaurus. While there are situations where you directly engage enemy players, there are other times where you band together with rivals to take down a major foe. This mm. variety of missions will keep players on their toes. Yeah. In Dino Survival, the missions change for enemies players' progression through the game. The Destroy a greater every evil. Time you play, even in matches with familiar surroundings and objectives. By playing Dino Survival, you will unlock story sequences and also earn rewards such as experience points to increase your player and exosuit levels. We'll provide more details about this at a later date. Now that we've detailed Dino Survival, let's move on to exosuits. Hmm. We showed two new exosuits today. I will put this in my is an assault role exosuit. interested section of uh, games of uh, throughout the, the uh, showcases and live streams and events um, I've been watching for the past uh, week. It wields a I'm interested. I'll have to learn more about this game. We have even I'll just leave it at that. Just, I'm, just in I'm just interested. Future. So look forward to upcoming announcements. We have one last announcement for today. Welcome to my research facility. We're conducting a closed network test for Exoprimal. Players will be able to try the game ahead of release. Help us test the game's online infrastructure and make improvements ahead of launch. Sign mm. up to participate today. Ooh, participate. We got for the bugs and all that. Will allow Glitches. you to experience Dino Survival before the game's launch next year. We look forward to having you join in. Oh, that's awesome. You know, fans should be the key, that's and from the from the you know the fans and the, the players. It's good that they're hearing hearing those uh, them out. Until then, and I want the and wants the input, of course. And social media. Thank you for watching. Next, we have a message about Dragon's Dogma, which recently celebrated its 10th anniversary.
Dragon's Dogma. Tenth Dragon's Dogma. Hi everyone, I'm Hideaki Atsuna, game director at Capcom. A few weeks ago, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of Dragon's Dogma. 10th anniversary, oh, okay. Thanks to all of you for joining us in this celebration. The world of Dragon's Dogma has since spread to various different kinds of media, ranging from games such as Dragon's Dogma and the Dark Arisen expansion, to digital comics and a Netflix original animated series. Ooh. In the coming days, we will be releasing a video celebrating 10 years of Dragon's Dogma. Ah, oh, so in talking about three to four days. And what Dragon's Dogma came to be. So whether you're a longtime fan or just curious about the series, we'll have something for you to enjoy. We hope you check it out. Mm. Everyone's again, welcome. That's a good, that's good. So And now we have a bunch of updates from the Resident Evil franchise. Hello everyone, I'm Tsuyoshi Kanda, the producer of Resident Evil Village. Thanks to all of our fans, Village has sold over 6 million units worldwide. Everyone on the team is incredibly happy to see so many people enjoy the game. Thank you for your support. The Resident Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. We want longtime fans and people who are new to Resident Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Let's start with this video. All right, let's go. Down right on, right on in. 16 years after he left. to live a normal life. Now go while you can. Shadows of Rose. Sh Shadows of Rose. Content coming to the uh, missionaries. Marking the target. It's showtime. Now, what next? Missionaries, additional orders. Reversed October 28th. Oh, four more months. I feel like I, I, I can go fast. I can go buy it fast. We're happy to reveal the DLC for Resident Evil Village we promised last June. We think this new experience will be worth the wait. We'll see. This DLC includes gold edition major features. First, the major third feature. person mode. Person mode? Many people asked for this, and we were able to add it into the game. Now, you'll be able to see Ethan as he desperately fights for survival. Players that have already experienced Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective gold edition. and animations too. Mm -hmm. The Mercenaries returns with additional orders in an arcade-style action game where focus has been put on the exhilarating feeling of defeating relentless hordes of enemies. New stages are included, as well as additional playable characters, such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. 
We've really yeah. fueled this mode up. Enjoy looking down on your foes from over nine feet above as Lady Dimitrescu slashes her enemies aside. Good claws. The third edition is one you've surely been waiting for. An additional story, Shadows of Rose. Today, let me introduce just a bit of this story. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist, Ethan, All right. is now a grown-up main character in this new story mode. In this sequel to the main story of Village, you can experience Rose's struggles with the terrifying powers she was born with. To break free of the curse of her powers, she enters the consciousness of the Mega Mycet. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. In this mysterious realm of consciousness, time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who might be of assistance with removing her powers. Shadows of Rose is set completely in a third-person perspective. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only face creatures, but the world itself seems to be attacking you. Or Enjoy Rose the versus the world. the world itself being your greatest enemy. How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? The DLC for Resident Evil Village Winter's Expansion includes all three of these major additions. In addition, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition, a bundle of Winter's Expansion with the base game, will be released simultaneously. I'm gonna guess the estimate the uh, is planned for October 28th. All bundle gold edition. Probably over a hundred bucks. Maybe, don't quote me on that. On the same day, <laughs> October 28th, we'll see. We hope that you are looking forward to it. And I get it. Uh, if they put pack more content, like they should, uh, you know, uh, it's gonna also, cost a little bit more. Already announced. We are working on we'll see. the main story of Village available on Mac, so that even more people can enjoy Resident Evil. In addition, the main story of Village is planned to be playable on PlayStation VR 2. We are working hard on bringing you the ultimate immersive experience for the next gen in Resident Evil Village. So look forward to future announcements. Up next, a game that was announced just a few days ago. March 24, 2023. Okay, it's coming that date. Let's see. Or maybe did I see this? Did I see this? I mean, Summer Game Fest, but I can't remember. I just can't remember. No, wait, Summer Game. No, not Summer Game. I think um, PlayStation Stay of Play. They're jogging on there. Yep, yep. No, I saw this. Uh, I remember this. I saw this at uh, stage. A uh, PlayStation Stay of Play. Uh, did you think? Like a couple of days ago, I believe. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is expected. They didn't. They did announce that you know, you know expect to see Resident Evil content in the in this uh, showcase. Guess you, me, picked the wrong spot to vacation, eh? Most sacred body. It begins now. If I could just forget what happened that night, the pain, even for a second, this time. It can be different. It has to. Hi everyone, I'm Yasuhiro Anpo, director of Resident Evil 4. And I'm Yoshiaki Hirabayashi, 
producer of Resident Evil 4. This title is a reimagining of Resident Evil 4, based on the original 2005 release. Similar to other titles in the series, we are carefully preserving what makes the original title special, while updating it with modern flourishes for everyone to enjoy when it launches in 2023. Today, we'll reintroduce a bit of the game's story. Resident Evil 4 is set six years after the events in Raccoon City, depicted in Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. The main character of the game, Leon S. Kennedy, survived the Raccoon City incident and was assigned as an agent directly under the President of the United States. Leon is dispatched to a quiet village in Europe as part of a mission to rescue the kidnapped daughter of the President. You might notice Leon is much more mature and fearless due to his past experiences. It's gotta be. The Ganado, the main enemies of this game, wait for him. More so than the original. Of course, there will also be thrilling battles. People that played the recent Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 should find this familiar. Look forward to future announcements, where we'll have more information on the game. Resident Evil 4 is being developed for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Series S, and PC. The release date will be March 24th, 2023. Okay. We are aiming to create a Resident Evil 4 that everyone can enjoy, so please look forward to it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. What did you think about the latest information on Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 4? Both games are currently in development. For those that can't wait for the release, check out the following games. I would like to check out these other games since they you know they're trying to since the games the games are in development. Uh, they want to build up your the hype. So we play those games while we while you wait. Resident Evil 7, which brought the series back to its survival horror. I think it's just their live stream. Capcom is, is, is choppy. I don't think my man, man it's all good. And Resident Evil 3. These three titles, built with RE Engine, return with have to check. gen features including support for 4K, high frame rate, 4K. and ray tracing, as well as 3D audio for an even more immersive experience. These titles are available for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and Series S beginning today. In addition, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players can enjoy a free digital upgrade to current gen via the digital upgrade program and smart delivery. For PC users, an update patch will be available on the same date. For newcomers and veterans of survival horror alike, we hope you enjoyed the immersion these new versions offer. Welcome to the family. Ah. Uh. That's all for today's announcements. Thank you. That wraps up today's show. We hope you're as excited as we are about some of our upcoming games. Thank you to everyone, new and old fans alike, for tuning in. We look forward to sharing more updates with you soon. All right, that's wrapping up right there.
All right, y'all. Thanks for thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. All right, peace.